16 of my followers have sent me four of their best outfits. They'll be going head to head in this bracket today to determine which of my followers are the drippiest of drip lords. I'll be the judge from round 16 to the quarterfinals. And then you guys, my Instagram followers, will decide who will advance past the semifinals and then inevitably who will win the competition as a whole. Welcome to the Foot Check Championship. This championship actually has no affiliation to UEFA. I don't know why, I feel like I just had to put that out there. There will be a prize at the end. I don't know what it's gonna be yet, but I'll make it up. Before we get into the video, fit check. I've got the North Face thermal Mules on, Carhartt pants, vicinity sweater, WOL. I might be roasting some people today, so if I hurt your feelings, I'm sorry. I am gonna do my best to actually give criticism where it's due. But if your foot is trash, it's trash, okay? We've all had trash foots before. I'm gonna put all of my trash foots on the screen so y'all know how I was there too, okay? My friend Joshua has sent me this file. He was the one who looked through all of the DMs. I think there was about like 130 DMs that I got. Every single round is gonna have a different picture. I'm just gonna choose it in chronological order. So this is the first picture that we have today. Our first contender, Isak. Dot ASP. I actually know it sucked. This is actually the homie, bro. Like, I don't know him personally. We're just like online mates and fucking hell. It suck is a very strong contender in this competition. He's a seriously strong contender in this competition. Contestant number two. I ain't gonna lie. I might be a little bit biased here. Not because it suck is my boy, but because obviously I'm gonna gravitate towards men's fashion more than women's fashion. Her name is love underscore in it. I'm not gonna lie, guys. This matchup is already hard. Isak has the flared jeans. That belt looks too good. With the Chelsea boots, leather jacket, and we've got the button up with the headphones and the glasses. He looks like the young Matthew Williams. That's what I'm gonna say. Love, like the hair is fire. I love the long dress. I'm gonna have to go with Isak here. It's just, if you were somewhere else in the bracket, I swear you would have gone to like semis or the finals, but Isak's outfit, it's just too similar to my style. Like I love this kind of fashion like this is definitely my taste gotta wear the flare jeans the flare jeans are so sick bro and we already have our first quarter finalist next matchup talita i also know talita so this also might be a little bit biased actually nah you're not even homies like that <laughs> i'm joking you know what it's decent it's it's decent it's decent consistent number four we've got let's see evan planets this run is a little bit more tame i think the first round we just came in with some fucking heat some real certified hood classics this one is a little bit more normal the bag is dope cropped tee is fire and i love the air maxes too personally i'm not a fan of the belt but i can see the appeal you know the baggy pants tight shirt combo it doesn't get old even on guys bro like that shit is straight fire and then my friend evan bro this is so clean dude and he's got are those wait does bro have wings okay I, I, it looks like waves. I think it's waves. The glasses, I'm not too big of a fan of though. It reminds me a lot of like cloud glasses and 2016. The cloud glasses era, it was a sick era. I have PTSD from that shit, man. But the shirt, the button up is clean. And he opened it up a little bit by his chest. Nice satchel, white pants. The shoes, I would have gone for like a full plain white shoe. The shoes fire on its own, right? But I think just the fact that orange on the shoes and the orange of the shirts are different shades. So it's, it's kind of throwing me off. I'm kind of swaying towards Salita here. Yeah. I didn't think this was gonna be so hard. And Evan's like, you know, he's looking really classy, bro. Look at the background. Like, he's up echelon, you know? He's like, he's that guy. <laughs> he's him. <laughs> no, okay, no, I'm sorry, Salita. Fuck. Okay, no, wait, wait, okay, wait, 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 wait. You know what, fuck it. I'm, I'm gonna flip a coin. <laughs> I only have a 50 cent coin. Talita is heads, uh, Evan is tails. That's heads, and that's tails. It's heads. Don't get mad at me, yo. I'm sorry, Evan. Your foot is still clean, bro. Talita is advancing to the next round. You're advancing to the quarterfinals, my boy. Next match. Contestant number five and six. Dana Catherine Pipe. That's the old homie too, bro. Shit, man. Dana Catherine Pipe actually goes to a fashion school. So, you know, if you don't make it to the finals, bro, you're looking a bit fraudulent. <laughs> I'm joking. This fit is hard, though. This shit is clean, man. Next contestant, we've got Con Costs. Straight out of Galway Island. I like the idea of the outfit. I think it's just a bit too simple especially compared to what dana is wearing dana's outfit really is like screaming in your face like yo come fuck with me you know what i mean like 
peep my swag, dude. You know what I mean? Like the colors, it just makes sense. And she's got the sunset in the back. You're not judging the backgrounds, but subconsciously, it's affecting my decision here. I think the decision is quite obvious. It's gonna go to Dana. But Concast, I just feel like there's nothing to say about the outfit. You've got the essentials down. This is kind of the outfit where you just like, you know, you just wake up and you put shit on. Like Concast, you must have put it on. Like there is. I feel like you have better pictures, but unfortunately, this just happened to be the first picture that I saw of yours. Okay, I'm gonna put it down here just to randomize it. Dana Catherine, you are advancing to the next round. Quarterfinals are looking quite hot now. I've made a new group. It's called the Eliminated Group. Number two, eliminated. Number four, eliminated. Number six, eliminated. You're out. Contestant number seven, you see what you made of, bruh. I'm already liking what I'm seeing, bro. Okay, wait, I look, he changed my mind. I don't know why, but when I first looked at the picture, I thought the pants were like plain black. If the pants were plain black, I feel like it would have been a really strong picture. Contestant number eight. Jeez. Nah, this is hard. Where is this location? I need to go there and take pictures there. I think those are flare jeans. They look like flare jeans, so I'm gonna call them flare jeans. He's got the goggles too, and he made sure to show up the watch. I don't know if like, you were purposefully standing like that so your sleeve could go up to show the watch, but hey, it looks hard, bro. The jewelry looks nice. I feel like it would have gone better if there was a little bit more chains there, though. Some thin ones added onto the two you're already wearing. Beard goes hard, too. Boy, is well groomed, dog. That low key counts as part of your fit. If you've got like little tiny hairs, you gotta cut that shit, bro. And I, I low key need a shave, too. Contestant number seven, I feel like if these pants were full black, it would have gone hard, but I think at this point, it's not even really a competition. Dolce & Gabbana hoodie. I'm not a fan of buying essentials from designer brands, but if you got a rack like that, who am I to stop you, bro? And then he's got the Carhartt bag too. Carhartt twins! I'm sorry I had to do this to you, blood. Yeah, Bean. Eliminated! Contestant number eight. Made it through, my brother. Uh, Contestant number nine and ten. Whoa! Damn! Damn, 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 damn! I got nothing to say. Visu jeans. A Visu denim jacket. And his, what shoes are those? Those look like the Air Max 1s. No, those are 3s. I can't tell. I can't tell. The wide camera angle too. Jeez. This is like the first proper streetwear candidate that we have in this competition now. He's a very strong contender. Let me tell you, when I open this picture, dog, <laughs> it should better be popping, popping. Ooh. Okay. Number 10 just made it hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> the tie is beautiful, my guy. With the Tylers on as well. Bro's looking gorgeous. Y'all got drip though. If you look at my fits and you compare them to these niggas, like, you should be sitting here judging me, bro. It's gonna go down to the wire. I think I need to bring out the 50 cents again. <laughs> Let's fully break these foots down. Okay, contestant number nine, the color coordination here. It's black, yellow, and white. Black and white is a very easy combination to do, but he's integrated the color in well. I love how the yellow suits each other, and it's like little bits of yellow that you see on the pants and his jacket. Contestant number 10, when you look at the color scheme going on, it's like blue, the black and white pants, and the green shoes, and just the very busy tie. When you look at the top half, the tie is perfect. It has a little touch of blue, purple that suits the denim amazingly when you come down to the pants i think it was just a bit too busy on the left side it's busy but it's very coherent number with number 10 feel like it would have been a lot better if it was just plain black pants and i feel like it would have been a lot better if the shoes were just black you have two main pieces over here you've got the tie which is almost like the main piece because it's attracting your eye and then you've got the shoes which is kind of the main piece and it's attracting your eye it's like what do you want people to look at do you want people to look at your upper half do you want people to look at your shoes it's very conflicting contestant number 10 eliminated the ivisu bandits you're making it through my boy 11 versus 12 contestant number 12 let's see what you got homie this is very clean backgrounds look at 10 out of 10, shit. And she's got the platforms on also, so don't fuck with her, man. Contestant number 12, okay. It ain't bad. The proportions, 10 out of 10. This fit is very skater vibe. The beanie, however, that's the only problem that I have. The fact that the blue, it's not the same tone as the pants. If you got maybe a hat that was black, hat that was white, it doesn't have to be the same exact color as the pants. Number one, that's extremely difficult. Number two, being too matchy-matchy like that can look kind of tacky sometimes. Contestant number 11, you took it, bro. I want to say you washed him, but look Look, he did. Look. <laughs> Contestant number 12, you threw to the quarterfinals, yo. We've got our second last match in the first round. Oh, wait, hold on. I almost forgot. 
Number 12, eliminated, my boy. Number 13, it has potential. I really like that you have a plain black shirt. Glasses of fire, shoes of fire. The sweatpants, though, if you had the sweatpants, just plain would have been dope. But otherwise, I think it still would have suited the outfit if you didn't also have the North Face writing on the beanie. Contestant number 14, okay. I've got a medal off our shirt, man. <laughs> now nah, you're trying, my boy. I can see the effort. I like that everything is plain. You've got the essentials down shit <laughs> i'm really trying to give advice here but, I don't, but i'm sorry let me give you some advice dog don't cuff the jeans bro go to a tailor it's very cheap no matter which one you go to even just ask your granny or something ask your mom if she has a machine you know just take off the red t-shirt take off the white hoodie get a white t-shirt get a gray or black hoodie and then you sort it and then the foot is already like levels better we all had to start somewhere and the hat just take that shit off man i'm sorry contestant number 14 you're eliminated my boy i'm gonna have to go with contestant number 13 you threw to the quarterfinals my boy contestant number 15 let's see what you're working with homie the jeans are hard the shirt fire yo where is this bro bro is camping he's just having fun he's just having a time you know very reminiscent of like 20 18 swag are those travises i don't know if those are travises or not or whatever they are fit is fire though okay contestant number 16 this is the last match that we've got today and let's see what he's putting on okay this picture is hella blurry but fuck i can see the outfit though he's literally wearing what i want to wear everything here is beautiful except that bag you didn't need that bag dog you didn't need it contestant number 15 you're out of here boy contestant number 16 you have advanced to the quarterfinals these are our quarter finalists isak versus ivisu shit this is so hard like it just makes me happy seeing niggas dress like this <laughs> he's got the grandpa button up the grandpa jacket the grandpa pants with the chelsea boots yo and his phone matches the colors of his outfit that's like one of those little subtle details number nine you're gonna have to come out with heats over here bro fuck shit you sold bro you sold <laughs> You sold, dog. I'm sorry, bro. Nah, and I see what you're going for. What the fuck is that lean? <laughs> I don't condone these things. Wait, okay, maybe it's not lean. Wait, it kind of looks like lean, though. I've never seen Fanta Orange, that shade of orange before. But I don't know why he's holding the Fanta bottle in the picture anyway, if it's not lean. Because it doesn't suit the outfit colors. Pants are good, shoes are good. It's just the jacket and the sweater it's just too many details bro if you took off that hoodie and you put on like a white shirt it would have been so clean bro i know isak over here he's got a lot of details on his foot but it's like pattern details it's not writing isak is progressing to the semi-finals bro contest number nine you came so hard with this first fit it's quite unfortunate let me see what your other fits actually look like oh damn and it's got the union fours on is this even you dog <laughs> is this even you because you know what the fuck you're doing you just made a mistake but you know what it's a really good lineup i think i still would have chosen isak's outfit but it wouldn't have been the landslide that it was unfortunately my boy eliminated extinguished finito okay number 11 okay her name is hope you went off dog hope you went off you're actually giving the girls some hope to win this competition <laughs> Okay, Talita, let's see your second outfit, dog. The skirt go hard and the boots. Really asserting that dominance out there, but the choice is quite obvious to me. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with Hope, bro. From London, the United Kingdom, you have made it to the semis, bro. Talita, before I exterminate you, let me see your other pictures, bro. I think this fit would have beaten Hope. These jeans go hard, bro. You can be exterminated with your head held high. But you're out of here! Extinguished, bro. Next quarter finalist, contestant number number five versus contestant number 13 let's go hard low key personally i see what you're trying to do with the heels i think if they were black it would have been like a 10 out of 10 i think you just need to iron your shirt too <laughs> let's move on let's see what number 13 got for us bro i mean Dana, you made it to the next round, dog. Let me not be a dick, okay? I was there, dog. You all saw the pictures. I was there. Let me give you some advice. You need to throw those jeans away, dog. Or get a second pair of skinny jeans like that that you have and tailor them together 
and make it baggier and straight cut. I've done this before with these pants. Those pants are still going hard to this day. I wish someone had told me this when I was younger. If you can't find a good graphic tee from wherever you are, where you stay, invest in a plain white tee. If you have seven plain white t-shirts, you can go a long way. You can make so many outfits. I only have one plain white tee and I'm, I've been wanting to buy more, but I'm saving, unfortunately. Okay, we're just looking at the rest of his pictures. Nah, shit. Nah, who's got the sauce? But it's just that one outfit where bro just took an L. If you take these skinny jeans, take these jeans and combine them to make one pair of jeans like the one that I showed you, those jeans would be fire, bro. Look, I feel like I would have chosen you if I saw this fit, but unfortunately, this was the one that I clicked on. This was the second fit that we came to. So contestant number 13, eliminated. Bye. That's dick. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's dick. Okay, this is the last round where I'll be deciding on who advances. This is for the last pick of the semifinals. It is between contestant number eight and contestant number 16. Oh, another certified hood classic. This shit is beautiful, man. So clean. And another, another certified hood classic. Tall underscore figure. Shit, this is gonna be a hard pick. And tall figure. This is literally just what my For You page consists of. <laughs> You've made it through, my boy. I'm sorry, number eight. It was hard, bro. Let me see what you were rocking with, dog. Wow. You certified, dog. You really certified. Okay, I'm not really, I'm not a fan of this fit right here. I like the boots, though. You see, if this one was in this round, you would have made it through, no cap. Number eight, you've been abolished we are down to our last four contenders this is the semi-finals of the foot check championship contestant number one versus contestant number five what is your third outfit of the day it's like it's a fashion event if y'all i need these pants dana catherine this is your third outfit nice this is definitely your strongest outfit so far i want this set no cap i don't care if it's for women man let's take a look at the second pair of contenders 11 versus 16 this looks like it's straight out of a movie low-key looks like it's straight out of a music video. I love the colors. I think it's fire. Number 16. Let's go crazy too. Plain white tee, button up. I always say it, bro. That is an undefeated combo. I'm gonna post the pictures. See you now. Okay, it's currently the next day. Let's take a look at the results, shall we? Congratulations to Isak. He's made it through to the finals. Unfortunately for Dana, she got almost half the amount of votes that Isak got. Isak got 611 votes and Dana got 321. I thought it was gonna be a lot closer than that, to be honest. 321 votes. You're losing with your head held high. Let's see what you had. Okay, at the festival too. What festival is this? Yo, I need to attend these things, dude. This, this fit is fire. There's like a proper festival beach fit. Very cohesive. And the cowboy boots. Where did you even get that, dog? Pink cowboy boots. That would have been a really strong contender now. Nah. But shout out to you. Unfortunately, you have to go out of here. Eliminated Gonzo. Next up, it was between contestant number 11 and contestant number 16 tall figure and the results are tall figure makes it through by a landslide i really wasn't expecting that too tall figure got 731 votes whereas hope got 280 votes that's crazy bro okay it's not much of a landslide but shit i was expecting a lot better not gonna lie tall figure progresses to the finals he will be going up against Isak. Let's take a look at what Hope had in the vault. Nah, man. No, I promise. If this was the picture that was used in the semifinals, she would have gone straight to the final. And she would have actually given the girls hope. <laughs> Yo, you know what I'm gonna say, bro? Eliminated! Now we are in the final round. It is between contestant number one and contestant number 16, the irony. This is contestant number one's outfit. Beautiful sun-kissed outfit with the grandpa swag and the Chelsea boots. You cannot go wrong. And he's holding up what I think is a leather vest jacket. Bro, Isak is too cool, man. I'm not dick riding though. Tall figure. This is your chance in the finals to be the first foot check champion. Let's see what you got, bro. And tall figure came with that heat. Tyler, the creator, influenced outfit. Beautiful brown cardigan. He's got the knees out, bro. And you know what? You got some nice legs, bro. <laughs> and the winner of the first foot check championship goes to tall figure congratulations to tall figure you've taken the cup you're taking it by a landslide my boy tall figure came in with 500 and 
eight votes. Unfortunately, Isak fell short by 200 votes, sitting at 299 votes. Wow, 12 figure congratulations. You're the winner of the first Fit Check Championship, hosted by none other than Cypher Hendrix. Your reward is, um, uh, I'm gonna award you $10, 10 USD. <laughs> you can buy yourself KFC, I don't know, McDonald's or something, or maybe save this shit up. So I'll DM you. If you guys wanna see proof that, you know, I did give him the reward, just follow me on Instagram and I'll post it on my story as soon as this video goes up. Congratulations, tall figure. Next time, I'll be sure to have a better reward. I'm gonna reward you guys like a brand new item of clothing. I'm not balling like that. I'm, I'm actually quite broke. I'm a student, guys. So 10 bucks is the best that I could do. If you guys wanna see me rate World Cup jerseys, click on this video. If you made it this far, subscribe. If you haven't made it this far, subscribe. Cheers.